Hi guys, welcome back to Tea Time, your one and only source for the hottest, most juiciest sports news and of course pop culture tea. So I'm here with my special guest of the day, Miss Nixon. Hello. Hi. My name is Nixon Norman for you people on Facebook and for the YouTube world. Hello, I'm Nixon Norman. Yes. So this is her first YouTube appearance on Tea Time. First YouTube, second Facebook. Yes. So she's not she's she's true to this. She's not new to this. That's true. So <laughs> that is true. We have some juicy tea, but before we get into the tea, I have a prompt for you. Yes. I saw this on TikTok, and I'm just gonna let my opinion. I'm gonna let my opinion fly. Yes. I don't, I don't agree with it. I don't either. Wait, you don't even know so, what it well, is. I, I, I told her a little bit of what it was. She was typing it out for Facebook. And okay. immediately my answer was no. I think you agree. I do. So okay. here, here's the TikTok. Yeah. So if you're watching on YouTube, this is what the TikTok is. I'll let it play. I don't agree. I don't either. And two, does it not go vice versa? Right. I think what is wrong is for a man to buy someone a drink when he's in a relationship. It's not necessarily cheating, but it, it, it's kind of just like, well, More frowned upon, I think, than the other way around. Yeah, because sometimes you're not even, like, talking to the person. You could just be sitting with your friends, and then the right. waitress brings over a drink, and it's like, oh, such and such wanted to buy you another one of what you're having. What am I supposed to do? Stand up with a drink and be like, I can't accept this? That's true. Like, no, That's I'm a drink. True. And two, um, um with the whole issue of it being an issue of the guy buying the drink. It's kind of like, not to say when you're in a relationship, it's like y'all's finances, but it's kind of like that could have been the money that he could have spent on your meal at Chili's or wherever. Like, it's yeah. kind of like the buying of a drink is it frowned upon, but the receiving of a drink, maybe yeah. not. Because yeah. how would they know that you're in a relationship? Right. I guess unless y'all are talking about it. Yeah. Then that's a little conniving if y'all are like, yeah, me and my man, me and my man. And then he's like, okay, girl, let me buy you a drink. Yeah, that's a bit, that's that's out of pocket. But, I mean, what can you really do? If the drink arrives at your table, then it's just at your table. You're just, you're not going to drink it? No. Oh, so it's if it gets sent to you. No, not if it gets sent to you, but even if, you know, you're talking to someone <laughs> And they're like, oh, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I'm taking it. I think I would too. Unless they're actively like super flirting with me and like, like getting those vibes. Yeah, if they're yeah. being disrespectful, then of course it's kind of just like, no. Then I'm gonna text my man and be like, you'll never guess this dude at the club was trying to oh, smack on me. Oh my, you then, know, I can't do that now. Well, it's fun though. It is. It's, Cause it's it also, like a chase. It tells them like, hey, you have a hot girl. Uh -huh. Like people are after her. But it's not, it's not like in a way of like jealousy. It's just yeah. kind of like, haha, this dude was trying to mac. Yeah, okay. But if they're, okay, bottom line, if they're flirting, not taking the drink. Okay. If it's friendly, casual, business, friendly, whatever. You're okay with take it. Take the drink. Mm -hmm. Now, if my man's buying drink for other women, which I don't think that would happen. I like to choose them wisely. Period. Um, <laughs> That might be a little bit of an issue. I think so too. I think it's very different. I don't know. We have a viewer on Facebook right now. What do you think? It, the name hasn't popped up yet. Okay. So I'm wondering, you there. Hi, one viewer. Hi. If you had to, would you? Hmm. But we're going to move right along. Okay. okay. Guess what? You know how whenever you brush your teeth mm -hmm. and that nasty mint aftertaste is left whenever you drink? Oh, it's <laughs> our Maria. boss's mom. Hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> so whenever you brush your teeth and then you go to drink mm -hmm. orange juice, it leaves that weird taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Tropicana's trying to do something about it. Look at this. Tropicana set to release limited edition toothpaste that doesn't ruin the taste of orange juice. What? Okay, wait. No. So when you first told me this, I thought you had meant it is orange juice flavor. But it is. It clearly is. Look, orange juice toothpaste. Okay, but so the reason they did it was so that it doesn't ruin the taste. Yes. So it's orange juice flavored toothpaste, you brush your teeth with I it. I mean, this is my thought. I mean, okay. you have to be an avid orange juice lover to do this. I think so. Because I don't drink orange juice enough for that to be a valid purchase of mine. I agree. I don't even really like orange juice for the reason that it does actually when I burp throughout the day, which we have a thing, we have a burp count during the day. We'll Nixon get into that another time. It's full of air. But, <laughs> not up here though. Right. Just some anyway. days. Um, uh -huh. um, um, I burp orange juice all day long, so I don't really drink it anyway. Okay, okay. It's one of those things I taste all day long. I'm not really feeling it. Okay, but I would prefer orange juice over apple juice. I am the other way around. <gasps> what? 
Oh, uh, uh orange juice has that kick. It really gets you going. You know what I mean? Apple juice is kind of just like apple juice. I, I as I've gotten older, I like it more, but it's not my thing. I would never. Uh, I'll say this: I'm not worried about my toothpaste and my orange juice mixing. Not at all. I'm not. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't use it. But for no. those people who. For those people that would, you know, congratulations. Now you can finally drink your orange sure. juice in peace. Sure. And Nixon has a bit of tea for us. Tea Did you Halloween. forget it? It was Halloween, yeah. Okay. What are you gonna be? <laughs> so I'm gonna be Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a photo of me in it, but I will say. Okay. It, no, leave it up to, leave it up to a surprise. Like, we don't need to see it. Let, let us. Okay. Okay. Link down below, not really. Um. I'll say this, I do need to get shoes, and it's stressing me out. I'm Gosh. looking for a purple pair of shoes. Have you checked everywhere, maybe DSW, or is this like one time use only? That's kind of the thing, it's like how much money am I willing to spend for a purple heel? That, how much am I gonna wear that? Yeah, you're right. But it has to that's go with the, the outfit. That's the thing about Halloween costumes. I never know how much money to spend, and then whenever I do spend too much, it's kind of like I regret it, because I could've, Put but then when you don't spend else. enough, you're kind of like, I could've went in more. Yeah, I agree. I'm going in this year. I don't usually go in. Wow. For the past two years, I've wanted to be Daphne. I don't know if this is going on too long. I think, are we No, okay? no, it's okay. Go ahead and explain your story. <laughs> I want, I've been wanting to be Daphne for two years now. I kind of would go to Plato's Closet, get a purple skirt here, you know, green scarf there. Wow. Never really panned together how I wanted it to. So I balled out this year and I, you bought the full costume? I bought the costume. Well, we can't wait to see it. I know I need the shoes, though. So prayers and thoughts going up, please. Like I like to say, if you pray, keep her in your prayers. But if you don't, keep her in your thoughts. That's, thank you. Mm -hmm. We will. I hope Nixon finds her purple shoes. Um, I already went to a Halloween party. I have three different Halloween oh, costumes. Yeah. Wow. I have three different Halloween costumes this year. So I went with my fiance. I was, we were both. I let this man talk me into us both <laughs> being MC Hammer. Oh. Oh. We were both. Wow. We were both MC Hammer. What? No. Nope. Okay. We don't want. We are not nope. talking about it. No. Nope. The pictures are gonna come out soon. Mm -hmm. You'll see it when you see it. I don't want any comments about it. <laughs> we were. <laughs> That's just it. I, I let him talk me into it. I mean, we were cute, but show of course. Sure. We were definitely like. Uh. Anyway, with the big pants on. Anyway, Can't touch this, yes. Yeah. And then for my like work Halloween costume, I'm gonna be a witch, the Wicked Witch from the East, because yeah. I am from Charlotte, North Kakalaki. Yes. And then with my friends, I'm gonna be a Tomb Raider. So. Oh, Laura Croft. Yeah. Okay. Period. But thank y'all for joining us this tea time. Look out for our Halloween costumes. Remember, we're your one and only source for the hottest, most juiciest sports news and, of course, pop culture tea. You can watch Tea Time in real time on Facebook Live or, of course, like you're doing now, catch up on YouTube. Thank you, Nixon. Of course. Bye, Bye. guys. See ya.